Hey guys, Jared back. So we've got our Nexus 5 in hand and we want to update our Nexus 5 to Android 4.4.1, but we have to wait for that staged Google rollout. Well, we can go ahead and manually update to Android 4.4.1. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is uh, you actually are going to be heading into the description below this video and I'm gonna have two different links, uh, one of which is to the um, XDA link so that you can actually download the ROM, the newly uh, updated 4.4.1 ROM for your Nexus 5 as well as the latest radio version. For this particular method we're going to be manually installing um, the new radio. So that said what you're going to do is once you have those two files downloaded um, push them to your internal storage okay so however you do that connect it to your PC and just drag and drop the files into your internal storage. That said we're going to need to boot into recovery so on the Nexus 5 we're going to go ahead and manually do that. I'm using TWRP recovery so uh, volume up, volume down and power button and we'll just give that a moment and then we're going to use the volume button to scroll down to recovery mode press the power button as the enter button and that will boot us into TWRP in just a moment here let's be patient there we go and um, I've actually already preloaded it onto my um, external um, micro, U micro SD to micro USB so I'm going to be using that but for you guys it's pretty much going to be the exact same method so I'll just wait for this to fully boot up eventually hopefully it happens soon there we go. So um, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my, whoops, wrong way, plug in my doodad here. Um, for you guys, again, it's just going to be in your internal storage. So first things first that I like to do after we um, have booted into recovery before we wipe the device is always double check that we in fact have that particular ROM loaded into our storage. So again, you guys are going to be internal storage. I'm going to USB OTG myself personally, and I'm going to be locating it under my Nexus 5 folder and I have it in ROMs and um, as we can see this one is called Big XIE Hammerhead blah 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 it's an ODX file okay so we do in fact have it which is good um, this does actually come with GApps so don't worry about the GApps thing so let's go ahead and head on over to wipe and we're gonna be wiping data cache as well as Delvic so I'm gonna go ahead and swipe across to do that we're all done I'm gonna go ahead and press back click on install and I'm going to be selecting the big XIE hammerhead file so we're going to go ahead and flash that but before we do because it's TWRP we can take advantage of the adding more zips so from that point I'm actually going to go up one and I'm heading on over to my radios again you guys will probably just have this all consolidated in your internal storage and so the new radio zip is actually LG D820 blah 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 KO24 or KOT49E so uh, I'm going to be adding that as well and then we're going to go ahead and just flash it. Uh, so that'll take just a moment, so give it some time and we'll be back as soon as it's done flashing. Alrighty, and as you can see it has been successfully flashed, so we're just going to go ahead and reboot system now and we'll wait for this to boot up. First boot of course is always going to take a little while, so just be patient. Alrighty, and there we are, we're all booted up and ready to go. So we are now running Android 4.4.1 on our new Nexus 5, as you can see we sweep down to about phone, and there it is, 4.4.1. Um, and just to double check the baseband version, uh, and I'm just uh, cross-referencing it on my monitor right now, it is um, radio baseband version 0 .2 uh, 0 0.23. So that is in fact the latest um, radio version. So that's really cool. And of course, one of the important things that a lot of people have been waiting for for this particular update is the actual camera update itself. Um, so, and as you can see, of course, we have all the usual things, photosphere, uh, panorama, regular pic um, video mode, and the camera, of course. Uh, so um, you'll notice actually that I have, if it'll, come on now, where are you? Where are you settings? Where are you? Anyways, there it is. So we've got HDR plus on, and this was one of the big things, right? Is that the pinch to zoom with HDR plus, and as you can see, um, it's working just fine. As well as the focusing, um, huge, huge improvement in the focusing as well. It focuses uh, pretty much instantly, and of course, if before you focus, if you're to take a picture, uh, it'll focus really, really quickly for you as well. Um, also, the um, saturation has been changed a little bit, so it's, it doesn't oversaturate. It wasn't too bad before, but um, it is definitely the picture quality has been improved. Um, with 4.4.1. Uh, there's a bunch of other little tweaks and things like that in 4.4.1 and I actually do plan on doing a video on all the different features uh, here pretty soon coming up. So anyway, stay tuned for that video. But that's it though, guys. Um, hopefully uh, you found this easy enough to update your Android device instead of having to wait, wait for the um, Google staged rollout. Um, that's it though. If you like the video, click the likes button down below. It always goes a long way if you're new to the channel. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And um, 
yeah, that's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.